everybody, my name is Farmer Phil <clears throat> and today we are going mowing with the two mowers, the two demo Pottinger mowers. For more than 24 hours time, it's early enough in the morning, I'm really excited. As you've seen here, uh, I did, uh, this isn't the first time out with them, I did mow a bit yesterday, I mowed about 30-ish acres, maybe a bit wet it. And I was started out here and I got rained off. So we are mowing our own silage today, so I have 30 acres of it mowed, another 50, 60, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 acres more to mow, there's a good bit to get mowed, we'll all be picking by this evening, the rest of them we're going off to pick another pay of silage this morning and then be able to switch over to our own then in the evening and do the rest of it tomorrow, so a bit of pressure on to get the mowing done, so the reason I didn't make a video on the first go out with these, mowing the first 30 acres is just to get used to it, to get the buttons right, to get everything set up right, because it's always a little bit awkward when you're trying to do the camera and and trying to use a machine for the first time, it never goes, <laughs> never works too well because there's always that bit of fine tuning when you get a new machine. Anyways, it's all running really smoothly now and I have it down to a pretty good fine art. Anyways, so we are going to get these two bad boys up and running and we're going to get these meadows knocked. So I have, um, what's in this field, five, six acres, another one about four acres and after my father fill about another field that the calves are on but they have three moves on it and there's a meadow grass ahead of them and they have one third, they're on one third, two thirds of us in meadow so I might see can I convince them to mow that but anyways let's get fired up from PTO back PTO on now back on Yes, it is quite bad with docks. It's probably the worst field we have with docks. We have to spray for the docks. We just never got the weather really to spray it because when we had the weather, we were spraying our corn. So we just kind of missed out on them. But hopefully now we'll be able to nail them when the grass starts to really grow. We have, when spray is there, it's just to get the weather and the time to get out and not nail them docks out of it. So, one field done out there, and on to the next one. So, I'm going to mow this how I've never mowed before, with the two mowers going to start off. So, I know this field is pretty safe, so fingers crossed it stays that way. But I'm out with the camera on time lapse again. Docks is a little bit of an issue in some of our fields, but the out there isn't too bad. It is a bit strong of a meadow, there's no point saying otherwise. There is a nice crop of grass on it, but it's just, just starting to go to seed. And when it goes to seed, it goes stemmy and loses feeding value. But it's not too bad, it could be worse. But that just goes to show the wet weather, the late year, everything's kind of pushed back and pushed back and all that, all adds up so it does. But anyways, we get this knocked. It is, it's not too bad. It's actually, it's quite dry on top. 
a little bit damp down the bottom, but it's actually, it's not too bad now. It's not too bad. feel done ah just very impressed with that that how it just looks just look at it it just looks so good the color scheme is just bang on the money anyways we're folded up i threw in this transport lock just to stop the more coming down and there's just one thing i want to show you that i think is really really like this little arrow here so when you're mowing to get your level step right you just lift the front things and let down your mower till that meets that and then you're in the you're in the sweet spot you're in the sweet spot for getting like the nice the nice level and it also i uh, probably want well, to lift the, the links up or no i have to lift the front the front suspension but it's able to clear the sword without having to move the front links which is a huge bonus compared to the coon or the old coon we have the the one that fell off the tractor last year. Huge, huge bonus, so it is. Anyways, front suspension up. That'll give me the good ground clearance for tipping down the road. Great job. Fierce well thought out. Yeah? Fierce well thought out machine. Well, there's not much to say here, just breezing it down. Big telltale of any machine is how easy is it to service in the mornings before yeah. you go to work. And that's impressed me so far. And then all the greasing points here for all the, the front. all the motions. Oh, the, and there's the your knife carrier. You don't need to have them kicking about in the cab. No more knives carrying. In the toolboxes. Yeah. Our lads trying to cut three bale challenge with them. Handy job. Yeah, no, right. Won't show me how to mow, so yeah. Yeah. Like teaching your granny to suck eggs, come on. Yeah, well, I have to, m you need to know what buttons to press. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, come on. Right. Come on. Yep. So, we're here now with Father Phil. We're going to teach him how to mow again. Again. So we're just going to show, I'm going to do one run, just show him how the buttons and everything work and then let him at it. Left a bit in the big field here to do so I can pop the drone. So. He left me a training plot. Push the button. Push the button. Oh yeah. I can see a 
like Daryl we were going across, especially the bits at any bits, it's all uh,
the tender set up for Jess. Uh, we checked this grass and it's too, it, it's wet after the rain last night. So again, Jess can set up at this and I'm going back more. So just after. Father Phil had his turn with the moor. So that's what's happening now. So anyways, I'm going to have my dinner and go back to the moor. Just to go do the, the Ted and um, Bro is here to start raking. Doing a nice job. Making good use of the tether. <clears throat> hey, let's go get the next round of meadows on the ground. We're on the next meadow. Also that field out there sprayed off. That is the field we're getting ready for the grass harrow. So we'll actually be topping that when we're finished here, but probably a separate video now. One thing I have to do before <coughs> I do start mowing, and that's find a stone. There is a stone in this meadow in from the back sword. I think the third round of the field you hit it. And I want to find it, mark it. After that the field is safe. My uncle wrote off the bed of the John Deere moor. Uh, the one that we have, we have a new bed in it. It happened three years ago, I think it was. As a stone that you can't dig up. It's, it's, it's a very, very big stone. So we just got to find it first. So. Somewhere over here in the brow. Around here. There it is there. Yeah. Also, just while I'm down here, this is the field of winter barley that you may remember from last year. We done it the lazy man, we broadcasted the seed. Sir field out there. That's the head on it. So it's quite a big head of grain, nice thick crop. It's actually very, very tall here. It's actually very in incredibly tall. That is in danger of lodging. If we got the wrong weather at the wrong time, that could go down as a heck of a lot taller than I thought it was. Anyways, that's the stuff we broadcast spread. Nothing wrong with it, great crop stuff. this field done and the pen lift it everything is just just starting to lose the paint there now so it is oh it's great anyways let's get ourselves folded up but now down here it, it's rough now it is quite on level ground but just look at the job it's done. Just followed that ground fierce, fierce, fierce well. In comparison to what we were mowing with. So, well happy with that. Now, but anyways, we fold up. We'll put the drone up in the air for a reason that if you know, you'll know. When you see the drone fudge, you will anyways. But yeah, we'll fire up the drone. We'll cross the road. And uh, we get the next meta on the ground. And we're down to the last three metas. Anyways, ah. Oh. Some rig.
another field bites the dust so this field round from Moen is actually very very nice grass it is very very nice grass so it's just long good crop leafy that was the main thing not a whole lot of seed out here there's a different story the last two methods that we have to mow out this gap here So these two fields out here, both sides of the bit of a, whatever you want to call it, roadway ish, are paddocking ground. We've been paddocking them for a while. But these gra this ground here and that field, there's not a lot on them. Our plan was to go for um go for hay and I was going to mow another field at home. But the other field at home is dry ground surrounded by wet ground and wet ground is still wet at the minute or it's not dry anyways and we wouldn't be able to we'd get the silage cut but we'd make tracks trying to get the silage out of the field so we're going to do instead of going with these two paddocks for hay we're going to put these into the pit just clean them off and we're going to go with the other bit at home we're going to make hay out of that in maybe a week or two's time when we get the weather but as you can see this isn't exactly the nicest heaviest or cleanest it's 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 all right it's nothing to be writing home about that's how i put that but our plan what plan is we talked about it sorry you're windy now that we're going to get the grass harrow out and we're going to stitch these paddocks in after we have a cut and i think no i think no we'll just have to double check on this before i put up but we're going to spray off one side and not spray off the other side and we're going to see how do they compare how do they come on can you get away without spraying off it's a bit of a trial for us and get using the grass hard that's the plan that's them fields not a lot on them but we'll tidy them up we'll clean them off and get them ready for a bit of fresh grass seed to go into them and get the last two done and then go off and mow for some other people for being like
one knot. Now, for those of you who are going to say why did I miss that bit there, that's a bit of a rough spot and I just didn't want to go through it. Same with the back swords. I kept out from them because the cattle run around this in the spring, they get the backs of the hedges quite a bit of tramping and I actually, when I was just getting out, sending the camera up on the mud guard, I come across a stone about five foot out from the back sword. So I was like, right, not going to say too, too close there. So that's why that is like damp. Anyways, this one done, out into the last one, and then we'll be baiting on home, having tea, and baiting on down the road to lovely Leitrim to get the, another bit of stuff knocked for baling that I don't think I'll be making it. Now that I'll finish it when I get the next field done. The rest of them are. So my father is lifting a job. There's two drawn there. They're right beside the sheds that are pit, so it's fierce handy. So man, the work of us drawn. We have a new young lad working for us at the minute. You'll probably see him in the next video when we are at the, our own silage, which will be the next video, obviously. Jessica is tedding, bro is raking, Liv is looking after calves, and uncle is pushing up. So it's all hands on deck. All hands on deck. But anyways, I better open up some more wires and then make sure I back all the wires because I can just see the Angus Bullocks out through the hedge there and I don't want them coming out back out here till we have this lifted and they can clean up the back swords in both fields and leave this the weekend, leave this ready to grass harrow, put in some new grass and see how that goes. But anyways, hold her up. I suppose just on the moor, what I do now, I see I pull this, you can see it pulls in a valve as well. So then when I pull my lever, it lifts up. And up 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 and up. And then I let go. And then when I let go, it, pull, it's, it changes to this ram here on the arm. So that you can adjust the amount of weight that's on your lift arms and it fierce, fierce, fierce handy. Fierce handy when, when your mower is out and you're getting her set up because you can transfer a lot of weight onto the left hand side and you can, well, look, I've never used one of these mowers before side mounted, so I don't know how much to expect, but in my mind from what people are saying, how they're feeling very heavy, I don't think it's that bad. But anyways, talk a bit more about that when I go out here and get mowing. We get these wires down, we get out. So, just doing the rounds of this field here, there's not a lot in it. It's long and narrow, so it's not going to take a whole lot more to knock it over. So, I hope you can kind of see something. I had the cameras up in a different spot, but you couldn't see anything going on. So, I kind of hope you can see the more. It's, it's, as well, this is just kind of finish up the video. What do I think now that I've mowed? To be honest, I have no idea how many acres we have. I think we're down on last year because we had three other fields that we didn't mow this time. But we have all of the big field and things like that. It just... I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many acres we have. Well, I reckon... 30-ish. Yeah, it's 80-ish. 70 or 80 acres, that's, that's what I reckon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up again. so yeah, 70 ish acres is what we have, so 70 ish acres more with this outfit, and oh man, it is some machine to knock grass, and it's, now look at my mode with last year was a 9 foot coon front mower, which I ended up losing off the tractor and breaking quite badly, but we have it fixed. And a trail 10 foot John Deere 1365. Done the job, but it takes, there's a lot of operating in a trail mower and we're front mower. Like, at the minute I'm back in, that was a chore of a job with the old brake. This, just with, with a mountain mower, a mower like that, side mower, side mower, whatever you want to call it. Oh man. It just makes life so much easier. Turning on headlands, getting in gaps, getting in gateways. Once you get the front mower in, I'm in. Before it was, you got the front mower in, then you had to get the back mower in. And that could be, uh, that used to be quite a difficult 
the top, especially on some roads and into some gaps. Oh man, it's 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 like as as uncle as my uncle said, this outfit is the Rolls Royce of mowing for us. It's just it really is such a just such an improvement on our what we have been using. Yes, this is a demo, and I just want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to Pohang Ireland and McCullough Machinery for sending down the demo to us and allowing us to use it. I'm not saying it's right, it's been left to us kind of indefinitely. It's one of these things where it's just, we may have it for a week, we may have it for five, three days. It's just one of them things. But a massive thank you to them. Because otherwise I never get to see how much easier it is to mow with an outfit like this. Oh, it's just such plain sailing. And it's doing such a great job. Unbelievable. It's, been, it's doing a great job. And following the wrong fierce man, the front mower now clears the sports. So, like the old rig, I had to press the, my headline management button three times. Once for the front mower, once for the front things, and once for the back mower. I don't have to move my front things now. They're second position. So I have two to move. I was actually at the very start when I started mowing, I kept pressing it three times and we were while to get into the rhythm of why you do it twice. Oh, so much easier. I really like the front and back more have these little arrows so you can match them. So when you get them set up in a field, you can get them to match so that you're mowing the way you, you want to be mowing, that you're mowing with the right height. I, I don't know what else to say. We are just really are impressed by it sticking all the boxes. I really really like it. I don't really want to send it back and yeah it's just oh it's just such an easier rig than what we were using. So me on about trying to mind the more and avoid the back swarts and what to do I hit a stone. So handy spot to carry the spare knives. I also get to show you one another really really good feature about this that um I forgot about. Anyways. As you can see here. Imperiox bent right up. them new knives back in. Heck of a lot handier than um, having to carry bolts with me. So it is. And I also think I'm not going to um, mow any more of the back sport. Yeah. Good. I don't fancy that happening again. No. That's it. Yorks on them. Oh. Happy out. So, that is it for today's video. Mowing. But this rig, just look at it. It is. The colour scheme of them Pohinger mowers just suits that tractor so well. So, so well. Oh, it's a lovely outfit, lovely outfit. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for today's video. If you're interested in learning more about the Pottinger Moors, you can head down in the description down below. There'll be links to McCullough Machinery and to Pottinger and some numbers and stuff if you're interested. I'm interested. I'm really interested, but you know yourself. It's budgets and monies and how's cattle going and all that. How we crack. But oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it just looks too good. Too good. Anyways, I got to start shutting up wires. I got to get out, shut wires, go home and move on then to start mowing for bailing for 
Monday or Saturday. I don't really know. I got more mowing to do. But anyway, that is it for today's video. That is all our silage on the ground. It will be starting to lift this in about half an hour's time, an hour's time. I won't be here to start filming. So I don't know how I'm going to manage that, but I'll figure something out. I might leave further out the camera. But anyways, that's enough ranting for me. Hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That is it for me. Good luck. Stay safe at the silage.